Good morning guys, welcome to today's video. It's Sunday. While we are away at Comic-Con, it came and it uh, dropped off on my doorstep and here it is. It is um, this Wi-Fi camera system. And it's a different one I'm trying this time and I'm gonna hopefully hook it up in the barn. Um, we already have like hidden cameras around our farm. And they go into the uh, computer at the house because we have Wi-Fi set up. But this one, I'm going to maybe get the kids attached it to their phones. One for visual appearance, I guess, if you want to say. Because the other ones we have are hidden. You can't really find where they are unless you have like a special scanner. But um, this one will be actually pretty visible. So um, I think I'm going to put it out in the the yard where the mares are or where the minis are right now and uh, see if I can hook this up to the Wi-Fi this time but the problem with this these types of cameras is you can't hook it up to the Wi-Fi for some reason so I'm going to try and do that right now and hopefully get it working all right there you have it there's the camera set up with the solar panel it's solar chargeable so I charge up with the sun. I actually moved it to that direction. So that's where uh, Chino and Penny are. I'm gonna move it here to this direction. Uh, you can move it around anywhere you want. There's the, uh, also has sound. There's the um, Penny and Chino out there in the field. So you can actually move it around. And then move it around. So you can see inside the arena. And this is why I wanted it, so you can see inside the arena. And outside the arena. Oops. And there the girls are there. You're supposed to be able to zoom in, I think, too. So I'll have to figure that out. And I'm getting alerts every time there's movement. <laughs> I don't need that set up, so I'm gonna try and take that out. All right, so I disconnected the receive alert because it gives me an alert every time there's movement. But you can do different things. There's sound settings. You can change the image setting to a better quality. And this thing also, um, there's an SD card in it, so it records it and you can just record it when you want or you can record it all the time or record it when you're on your phone looking at it you can do that too i'm off to get another led light because the one above my hay stall just decided to burn out today so i'm gonna see if i can get another one because i really like the light in my hay area i use these type of ribbon lights and uh it's supposed to be like 20 years so i don't know how i can get it replaced so I'll have to go find another one and see how I can get it replaced. Those lights are supposed to be a 20 year and I, I keep the boxes for them. I don't know why I keep the boxes for them. Maybe because the, all the warranty stuff is in it. Buy another one and then there's another one that's going to go out soon. Because you can see some of the little LED spots are missing. So I'll buy another one and then I'll figure out how to return the other ones. and. Because they're under warranty for 20 years or something. Or 10 years, I think. 10 years? 10 or 20 years. I'll have to look it up. Anyways, I'm off to uh, go get those. Anyways, this is the camera again. Um, I bought it off Amazon. It uses 2.5 gigahertz. doesn't use the 5G, but my barn, I have both. So if it doesn't work, then you maybe check out make sure you're not using the 5g but anyways this is the camera and uh, this one actually worked the last one i tried did not work but this one does and this is uh solar powered so i never have to power it anywhere power it up it just keeps charging by its own and uh if you want one i'll put it on the description box down below the link on amazon where you can find this good morning guys welcome to today's video today is the last day of spring break and we have been resting and relaxing We've been taking this last day to just relax and do nothing. I wanted my girls to like enjoy their March break. Have you been resting and relaxing, Gabby? No. No. <laughs> 
just joking resting and relaxing is not one of the things that I love to do actually I do kind of like it now that I'm a bit older but today is the day that I decided it's gonna be our spring clean day and we have been spring cleaning I washed the blinds changed the blankets on changed the pet blankets on the couch cleaned up over there cleaned up all everywhere this is still a little messy because I have a project that I need to do before I put all that stuff away here's Ellie <laughs> She looks like a boy, you guys, because those little hairs, they look like out eyebrows. They're driving me crazy. Oh, and no matter what I try and do to them, they just fall out. So we're in the awkward hair growing stage. I sorted all of our buckets that we have underneath the TV. We got rid of Daisy's potty station. I have a new station for her. Put all the way nice and clean because she doesn't really need this anymore. She's bigger now, she gets it, she understands all of it. So, so now I have a new potty station for her, hidden away, and I've been teaching her all day where it is. Sophie's been cleaning her room, Gabby cleaned the bathroom, like it has been a lot of cleaning. Are you yeah, I'm filming you. <laughs> we do all of our spring cleaning in the spring, obviously, but we do like a huge, uh, big spring clean and we throw out a lot of stuff. It's when we declutter and we get rid of stuff. I moved all of our winter coats and put them away and got out all of our spring stuff. And we do that because during the summer when we're like at horse shows and we're busy with the horses and we're going places and we're doing a lot, I don't clean as much inside. All right, we're at PB Mart. This would be cool for outside. These would be good for outdoor arenas. There, and they're on sale right now. They're on sale for a hundred bucks. That's sixty dollars off. It'd be a good outdoor arena light if you have an outdoor arena and you don't need to use any power. These are the lights I bought. These are exactly the lights I bought, and they're linkable. And they're supposed to last 35,000 hours. So, I'm just gonna verify if that's the right one. Yeah, it's a T8 is what I bought, a T8, four foot. And they're 30, $40, they used to be $60. So this is what I need. And I'm gonna look up the warranty after, yep. And they brighten up my tack room really good and my barn really good. That's why I like these. Also in the paint section because uh, I want to get a target made there and get Gabby to do a target for me for our throwing axes. So all well, they have are metal paint. Gotta look for some kind of wood paint. Oh, here we go. Here's some Rust wood paint. Primer. I only need white, black, and red, so. Can I do this? What is it? It's a strawberry grow kit. Yeah, let's see it. Dad just bought those. Oh, he just bought them? Yeah, he was thinking that we could do them tomorrow. So, uh, so Sam, I think he probably showed you guys these. He took the camera with him and he got them. So he bought these and brought them home and said, hey, I got these and they're supposed to be really good. And I'm like, how do you know they're supposed to be really good? And you know what he said? TikTok. TikTok. <laughs> That's where I find everything. Yeah. If it's on TikTok, Sam believes it. Sam believes everything on TikTok, you guys. There's still stuff to do in the house. Um, especially like our dining room and our bedrooms and stuff. We kind of got to start on all of them. Sophie did her room. I cleaned the bath, Gabby cleaned the bathroom. There's a little bit of stuff left to do up there. I'm going to do it tomorrow because we are feeling restless and we are missing our horses. So we're going to go down and hang out in the barn with them. And then I'm going to try and do a little bit of clean up there. But before we go, I want to show you Ellie's new crate. So every time we get ready to leave the house, we say bed and whichever dogs are going to go into crates while we're gone, they run and they get in their crate. And every single time we say it, Ellie runs and gets in to Daisy's crate. She just wants to be in Daisy's crate. She loves Daisy's crate. Daisy plays in her crate. Daisy lives in her crate. Like she loves that thing. She takes, you guys have seen on so many videos, everything we give her, she takes straight to her crate and she loves it. So today I set Ellie's crate up here beside the other dogs. Uh, it used to sit on top of the other dogs crates, but she can't ever run and go in it when we say bed. So I put it down there for her and as soon as I put it down there and got it all set up for for Ellie, 
Daisy walked out of her crate and climbed right in there and made herself at home. I put all the dog toys in one little bucket and I stuck them here. So uh, this is kind of our dog crate section. Only Daisy and Ellie love their crates. They're the only ones that really spend any time in there. Actually, Ellie doesn't even spend any time in there. Daisy spends all day. Daisy spends a lot of time in there and the door is never locked, but she loves that thing. You guys have seen, she always goes in there. I wanted to give you guys a little update on our plants. They are just starting to grow. Our Brussels sprouts are starting to go grow. The only thing I hate about when you start your plants inside early is they get so spindly. I think it's because we give them like enough water. Usually if you don't give them enough water, they'll grow stronger, but I hate when they go through this spindly stage. But uh, spindly? it's like they're long and leggy. See that? It's like they, I'm worried that they're not gonna last. It's kind of my Brussels sprouts. Yeah, the, it's the Brussels sprouts. But then over here, we got some happening looking pumpkins. Pumpkin. And, oh, that's carrot. Sophie also has some carrots growing, starting, and some tomatoes. But I'm excited to get these in the ground. And in fact, I have some really fun ideas of things that we want to do for our garden this year. So I'm excited about that. Sophie's schleich is gone. It's sad. I'm, I miss it. I like her being able to have her schleich all out here so she can uh, play and have it all set up. Uh, Sophie, there are some carrots and, t and apples over there. Do you guys ever, ever step over something and you still manage to hit it and fall? Yeah, that happens to me all the time. I, ju I just did that, but I, I saved myself. A quick update on Ellie's uh, slow feed bowl. She is doing so well with this. Uh, when I showed it to you the other day, it was just her lunch dose of... of meal she gets a lot she gets a little bit more in the morning and in the in that night so when i give her her bigger meals it actually takes her a good four or five minutes to finish it and she actually moves all the way around and you can see that she's like trying to maneuver everything i'm really happy with this i think i'll probably start collecting these i actually really like this i spy with my little eye a chino and there he is again as soon as the weather warms up a bit Sam and I are gonna take this fencing out that we put. What? I like it. No, because we're not gonna use it for anybody else. I think we're having the grand finale of winter. It's so cold and it's so miserable. Like, it's impossible to get down to the barn right now. Like, it's freezing. It's, let's check the temperature. It is 30 degrees, 30. It's colder outside than it is inside. It's actually so cold. It's not that bad. It's freezing. I got a thin sweater. So Can you close that? Bad. Where did Dad put the camera? Okay. So there it is. There's our new camera. I think Sam probably already showed you. Hi, baby mini. There's where Sam put the camera. It's so super cool. It scans our whole property. It scans the road over there all the way, both ways. Scans all the way up to the house and scans the fields. It is awful, the weather. I was so worried that this would happen. I was so worried. Like, oh, I knew. Anytime we have a mild winter, we always have a really long winter. And it just feels like today and yesterday, like it just feels like winter has just started. It feels like winter is here to stay now. We were able to be in the barn this whole entire season because it wasn't too bad. But now nobody wants to be down here because it's so cold. I really want to get the barn cleaned up and I really, really want to get the girls' paddock cleaned up. It's They've been pooping in it for like a month now. I've been able to keep up on it until then. But then the snow came and it's been a lost cause. But I'm really anxious to get it clean. Everybody wanna sing, sing, sing. You're a winner when you sing, sing, sing. I've got a song. I can hear you. Can you see us? I don't think he can hear us, but the horses can hear. The horses can hear us. We can talk through the app. Isn't that cool? I love this camera. So I have the app on my phone and you can actually watch everything, take screenshots, record it. You can like go back and watch. It's so super cool. I'm obsessed. You hum along and we have fun, fun, fun when we're moving to the beat. This kind of song makes you belong to something greater something that makes you want to sing and it gets you in a dancing pool and moving gets so easy feeling easy to me and it makes you kicking out what's slow and living gets so easy it's easy and again and again and again and again and again and again i want this flow
done is rake the paddock <laughs> scoop the poop out of there i love it you guys it's like one of the most relaxing things but it makes you're like you're busy and you're working but it's like a nice work all right i got this part of the arena i got down there too but down there it's a little bit frozen up here it's all nice and soft still and then i cleaned out the doorway over there the good thing about out there is that even though everything is all mud oddly enough because we've been keeping up on the paddock it's not like boot sucking mud. Do you Wait, know what I mean? Just... Let me show you. So I cleaned up over here. But see, when I walk in the mud, it doesn't, like it's not thick mud. It doesn't suck you. It doesn't suck you down. So if there has to be mud during mud season, then at least it's not so super bad. Okay, I'm still not hurting you. All right, can you open the door for me, Gabby? Girl in black. Thank you, thank you. Don't you know 